My water line is made of asbestos. Yes, you heard that right. My water line is made of asbestos. And let me tell you, if you're not aware, uh, that's not great, but it is actively being worked on. For those of you who saw my last video, you know that we recently got hit with a storm and the clouds currently uh, look a little foreboding, but that storm took out a whole bunch of trees. And one of those trees, which is uh, partially pulverized into wood chips below me, broke our water line when it was uprooted. Once that happened, we began the long process of working with insurance and contacting various plumbers to get it fixed because we like having running water. Some of the quotes that we got uh, were for just spot repairs, digging up the line and fixing right where it was broken, and others were for replacing the whole entire line. Now, our yard is pretty big, and the water line from the meter is, to our house is 900 feet. So a very long line, and it was going to be very, very expensive. Tens of thousands of dollars. So we were going to go with a spot treatment. And we thought that that would fix it, and we would be all good to go. When they dug up the line, they found a four-inch pipe, which is not what they were expecting. I don't know how much you know about plumbing. I know a whole lot more about plumbing and water lines as of the past week's events. But typically, a water line to a house is an inch, maybe three-fourths of an inch, an inch and a half, but not a four-inch line. That type of line is something you might see for a fire hydrant, not for a service line to a house. More curious was the fact that they didn't know what the line was made out of. They cut out a sample, took it to a supply shop, talked with a whole bunch of plumbers, master plumbers, and no one knew what the line was made out of. This one right here, this is the line. But even though they didn't know what the pipe was made out of, they worked some plumbing magic and found a solution, a way to splice in a new piece of four inch pipe into our existing mystery four inch pipe. They turned the water on and we thought we were all good to go. We finally had water after I think 10 days of not having water to our house. Unfortunately, that's not where the story ends because that evening, I saw my neighbor and I was telling him about our water debacle because he asked, he asked if we finally had water and I said, yes, we did have water, but there was this curious thing about the pipe. They didn't know what the pipe was, but they were able to find a solution. And when he heard that, he asked to see a section of the pipe, which I picked up because there were a few laying out still that hadn't been disposed of. I brought it over and showed him the pipe. He also didn't know what the pipe was. Later that evening, however, he drove up to our house to deliver some potentially very bad news. See, he had told his son about this pipe, and his son actually had an idea of what this pipe was. Asbestos cement pipe. And asbestos, as I said, is not great. You see, asbestos is a known human carcinogen. A carcinogen being something that can give you cancer. And while just any exposure won't necessarily guarantee that you're going to get cancer. It's not good. And a lot of times when people think about getting cancer from asbestos, they think mesothelioma, a type of lung cancer that comes from the inhalation of the fibers, which I definitely did a little bit since I was standing right next to them when they cut the pipe. With drinking water pipes made of asbestos cement, they can begin to wear with age, but the problem really happens when they break. Once they're compromised, they start leaking asbestos slowly, maybe eventually, who knows, without actually testing the water, but it's kind of inevitable once it's broken. And once we learned that, we were very, very concerned. Now, asbestos pipes are no longer used. That's thanks to work by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, uh, some work that they did in the mid to late 80s, and just general consensus by the public that they didn't want asbestos. But that just stopped the manufacture, processing, importation, and use of new asbestos. It didn't solve the problem of all of the decades of asbestos being used in buildings and Turns out, in our water lines, we didn't actually know 100% that 
that we had asbestos pipes. We just thought that they were based on everything we were seeing about the pipes, the age of the pipes, what they looked like. That was until we got them tested. And given the title of this video and how many times I've said we have asbestos pipes, you can guess that it came back positive. We have asbestos pipes. And because of that, we're now getting all new pipes. They started to work today, drilling a new path for a brand new pipe. Rather than messing with the asbestos pipe, just leaving it in the ground and moving a few feet over and making a brand new path for a new pipe that is not made of asbestos. Hopefully tomorrow we will finally have water uh, and uh, it'll be good, but that doesn't mean that I won't be still concerned. Because remember how I said we did have the existing pipe fixed? Well, as soon as it is fixed, we turned on all the water in the house, opened up all the faucets to flush out all of the dirty water and to eventually get clean water working through the system. I figured it would take a while given the size of the pipes, but I didn't think about the fact that they were asbestos pipes because I didn't know. So now I have the fear that all of the lines in my house have asbestos pipe water sitting in them. To deal with that problem, we're gonna get reverse osmosis for our drinking water and brushing our teeth and those sorts of things and use that for several weeks, months, whenever we're no longer concerned and we think enough water has moved through the system and there isn't as much of uh, a risk associated with the water. But uh, there's, there's an end in sight. Uh, and never would I have thought that this storm would have caused such a massive headache. But then I have to think about how lucky we are, potentially, and just the wild series of events. Our pipes are made of asbestos cement, which is not great, but we never would have known if it wasn't for that storm uh, uprooting that tree and breaking the pipe. And really, we never would have known if I hadn't been talking to my neighbor and showed him that pipe, but he himself didn't know. It's just the fact that he told his son, who had just recently been dealing with a similar issue on, on his job. So there were just a crazy series of events that led us to knowing that our pipes are made of asbestos. 15% chrysotile asbestos, to be exact, based on the lab results. So this video, like my last video about the storm, is just a general update but something that I think uh, will provide a little insight to what's been going on in my life, and also a little bit of education. Uh, looking at the, the Googles, uh, it seems that you know asbestos pipes are somewhat common. They were heavily used uh, up through the, the 50s, 60s, into the 70s, and 12 to 15% of Americans' water supply flows through asbestos pipes. So if you are ever doing a project and come across a big giant pipe that looks like it's made of concrete, uh, be concerned because it might be asbestos. If it is, don't saw into it, don't kick up more dust, and call a professional and someone who can test it for you. That is all. That is this video. My name is Tyler Lloyd, and typically when I'm not dealing with asbestos pipes, I make videos about living a happier, healthier, more sustainable life. Or at least I try. That's the goal of this channel, but it often gets derailed. I wish you the very best. Until next time, see you later.